Okay, so let's take a look at uh, question number five. Um, this is a type of word problem which is called a work um, rate problem. And it's actually a question that's um, very difficult to figure out how to do if you've never really seen an example of this before. Um, because it's um, just the way that you have to think about this problem is you, you really have to look at comparing a, the rates of um, work done. And that's not an easy concept to usually get. So we'll start by building a table and then talking through about how, what some of the, uh, the values are in the table. So um, in this question, what I'm going to first of all do is set up a, uh, a table here where we have rate, um, time, and amount. And, and the amount is um, going to refer to the work done in, in this case. And um, when I go through it, we'll explain what, um, how we have to look at that. And there's two types of pumps involved here. There's a fast pump, there's a slow pump, and then there is the amount of work that the pumps could do if they are working together. So let's just go through some of the, the, the problems here and we'll read through it and, and put in some values. So um, we need to fill an empty fuel carrier for an emergency delivery. So the carrier, is the amount of work that is being done and more specifically in this type of a problem it's called a job so we're going to do one unit of work or one job um, which is going to involve filling this carrier and there are two pumps a fast pump and a slow pump that can fill the carrier in two hours when used together so that's our first piece of information that's important so we have this two hour value which means that when they are working together, the time it takes to fill the carrier is two hours. And then it says individually, the fast pump takes one hour less than the slow pump to fill the empty carrier. So that would make sense that the fast pump can do more work and should take less time. So we don't know what the times are, but what we know is just the relative difference in the time. So this is where we have to introduce our variable. So like we've done before with other word problems, um, let the amount of time for one of the pumps be X. So the one that makes sense to start with here is to make it the slow pump, the unknown time, X. Because we can right away write that the fast pump takes one hour less. So if the slow pump took, say, four hours, the fast pump would take four minus one hours, which would be three, right? So in general terms, we can just say it's X minus one. Now this is where um, you need to have really, I think, seen a problem like this before. Because um, when you are going to figure out the rest of the table, we, like what do you put in for the amount? What is the amount in, in a work problem? So the amount for this type of a problem is always one unit or one job. So in, in all three cases, we would put in the number one there. Okay, and this is where you'd really kind of have, like I say, I've seen this, but amount refers to um, completing one job. So whatever they are talking about in the question, um, it's one unit of work. So <clears throat> filling the carrier with the fast pump is one unit of work. Filling it with the slow pump is one unit of work and having two pumps working together is still just one unit of work. Okay, so this is, this is, the, this is the, the part of the question that most people, it's hard for them to put their, their minds around this unless you, you kind of are, have it explained to you. Okay, and then we know that rate times time is always equal to a specific quantity. So when you think about <clears throat> the distance equation, distance is equal to rate times time. So if we multiply the rate and the time together, it tells us how, how far we go. All right, so if we multiply, um, if, we, if we look at that, that the amount of a job or the amount that we have for work is equal to rate times time, Okay, it would stand that rate is equal to amount divided by time. All right, so we're solving for the rate here. Amount 
over the time. Okay, so that's that equation was is given to you in the um, in the problem, but you, that's how you have to understand where the rates are coming from. So what would be the rate in our in our table here? Well, the rate of the fast pump working is one over x minus one. It's one job taking x minus one units of time to complete. The slow pump would be um, the same idea. It's one job taking x units of time to complete. Okay, and then what would the pumps working together be? Well, it would be one job over the two hours. Okay, which means that um, so, so what you're looking at trying to understand here is how much can this job be completed per unit of time? Okay, so if we think about it takes two hours to complete the job with both pumps going, that means how much of a job is done in a single hour? Okay, it's one unit or one half of the full job. So one divided by two. Okay, so that's that's the key to understanding how to how to complete this question. Because what we're asked to usually find here is how much time will it take to fill the empty carrier with just the slow pump. So what we're really looking to find here is the value for x. Okay, and we can't do that unless we generate some sort of an equation out of that. So that's our table. Now, what kind of the equation are we going to get here? So this is again when we're thinking about how we could put an equation together. If we think back to the distance and rate problems, usually we added the distances together because it, it makes sense. We know how far something travels, right? But in this case, we're actually have to think about it a little bit differently here. What is the thing to add up here that makes the most amount of sense, okay? Because we, we can't add up the amounts because we're always completing one job. Okay, what we're really adding up here is we're blending how fast each pump can work to produce, um, to do the job. So the only thing that we can really, really add up here is that our rates are the, the two things that, that are going to um, be put together such that we can generate an equation. So if you think about this, the rate of the fast pump plus the rate of the slow pump should equal the rate of both things working together to get that job finished, right? So it's a little bit, it's a little bit, um, may not be the most intuitive thing to, to, under, to, to understand at first, um, but it does make sense if you, if you really think about it. Okay, I have a fast pump that's working at the rate of one over X minus one Okay, that's how many gallons, liters per hour, um, whatever unit you're using, it, it's pumping. And then I combine that with my slow pump, which is doing the same kind of um, work, right? And it's, it can only go so fast, so it's pumping X liters or X gallons per hour. And then when you add the two together, the two rates together, that equals the total amount that it can produce per unit of time, okay? So in this case, we know that our total value here is one half. So once you get to this equation, this should be something that you should be able to solve. Um, so from our work before, we need to multiply by the GCF, okay? So that's going to be X minus one times X times two. And we're going to end up putting an equation together where we're gonna have two X, because we're gonna cancel the X minus ones in the first term we'll cancel the x on the second term. So we're gonna have just x minus one or two times x minus one. And then we'll cancel the two and that's gonna leave us with x minus one times x. So that gives us our quadratic equation um, when we um, multiply them all out. And however you wanna solve that equation, you can do it by graphing, probably just use the formula. If you're lucky, it, it should factor somehow, but um, if you go through all the steps in that, you should find that X is going to get you a value of about 4.6 hours. Now, there could be an extraneous root there, so you have to check to make sure that it makes sense. Um, so the one thing is that you don't want to get a value of X that is less than one because um, say the value was um, 0.8, so 0.8 minus one would be the rate of the fast pump. That wouldn't make sense because you can't have negative time. So in this case here, if you remember X is the slow pump. So 
our value would be 4.6 hours. And then the X minus one is the fast pump. So our value here would be 4.1 minus one, or sorry, 4.6 minus one, which would be 3.6 hours. Okay, and that intuitively makes sense. The fast pump is gonna complete the job quicker um, and the slow pump's gonna take longer, but if we combine them together, it should take less time than both, which is what our equation is telling us. It takes two hours to do. Okay, so that's how question number um, five works. It is a, a little, it's a different type of problem, different type of rate problem, um, because you're adding the two rates, which is something that you normally don't do in the other questions, but in this case, it does make sense. All right, so this is one, um, a problem like this is really, you just, you really need to see a couple of examples of it, and then you can um, figure out how to put the table together and it is all really in the table and then just adding up the rates together but you have to get that rate step correct otherwise you won't be able to make progress on the question all right